For this handful of how-to videos for PodGo, will be less than 10 minutes total, so watch all of them and you'll be an expert in no time. Ready? Here we go. Connect your guitar to the, you guessed it, guitar input here. If you're using a powered speaker, connect it from the left mono main output. If you have two powered speakers in stereo, connect them from both the left and right main outputs. If you're running into a live mixer, you can use balanced quarter inch to XLR male cables, which is the same as if PodGo had XLR outputs with no DI boxes needed. The mono amp out jack can be used to run directly to the front of your amp, and by default it echoes the signal sent from the main outs, but you can instead choose it to be tapped from directly before the cab IR block, which lets you run both powered speakers with cab emulation or an IR, and an amp with no cab emulation or IR. PodGo has a stereo effects loop here. Use this to insert your favorite effects pedals into the signal flow or to connect an amp and four cable method. Headphones can be connected here. All right, turn on PodGo. There are two primary home views, play and edit. If you ever get lost, press home and PodGo exits all the way out to one of these two main views. We'll deal with editing presets later, so press home until you see something like this. Play view is for live performance or jamming. Turn the upper knob to scroll through presets. If you press the upper knob, you'll see two folders or set lists of presets, factory and user. Each folder has 128 presets, so 256 total, and all can be replaced with your own tones. Press the mode switch to toggle between the two main footswitch modes. Preset, where you navigate through banks of presets, or stomp, where you can turn individual effects on and off within the current preset. Pressing a foot switch automatically calls up that effect's parameters, and you can adjust them by turning the five knobs below the screen.